Rachel the Cam, aka the Piper, and this is TNR Trends and Rachel, my darlings. Hope you all are dancing, huh? Are you not? Oh, are you not happy down here? <laughs> Oh, and I'm sobbing. Anyways, darlings, please get excited. Why? Well, because we have a bumper to bumper package. How? Hmm, my dears, it's a pot puree of events. Events, 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 and more events. Whew. Let me catch my breath. Anyways, my darling, we are having a buffet. <laughs> A bit of this and that well in subsequent episodes you will see more of the events in case the Oliver twist in you just says oh Rachel that was too fast I want more of that event so we'll just breeze in and breeze out yeah breezing in through each event very speedily my name is Rachel Bakam aka Piper let's ride <laughs> Yes, it's 2016 and Trends and Rachel is in a humanitarian mood this year. <laughs> yes, we want to give back to you. I mean, you've been so wonderful. This year, stay close to us as we have a new special segment where prizes ranging from royal trades items like ipads wow <laughs> laptops phones huh? job openings scholarships sports challenges to scout talents and send them abroad to get their careers soaring wow <laughs> and so much more in subsequent episodes we will highlight top trending brands and personalities then open the doors for you all to win! Yay! <laughs> now, are you a brand who wants to give back? Are you a hero? Then call us now! Let's work together to put smiles and get destinies sorry. I don't get a lot, God do it. And I don't pay my rent, God do it. There be one for my hand, but God be with To sponsor yeah. Trends and Rachel Call Havana uh. You understand? DJ Yeah, yeah Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's lined up today? <coughs> A special autism event. Ambassador of Peace. Pan African Humanitarian Awards. It is crazy. It's crazy. Trends Expose. Made in Nigeria products and services are so trending right now. Selected Nigerians who have over the years distinguished themselves in several areas of endeavors, especially with direct impact on the local and global image of Nigeria, will be honored on the platform of the historic Nigerian Rebirth National Art Project. The prestigious national honor is branded the Nigerian Dream Personality Honors. Wow! I'm so glad to be one of those selected. 
Let's say a courtesy visit to the Honorable Minister of Youths and Sports. Okay, I tell you, it's so lovely when you stand in the heart of the city of Abuja, Nigeria, holding a flag and a pipe. That is exactly what I'm doing here. And when I come out like this, then something that has to do with patriotism, something that has to do with the spirit of Nigeria, makes it so that I am here today. Let's go in and find out why we're here at the head of service in Abuja, Nigeria. <laughs> My name is Solomon Dalung, the Minister of Youth and Sports, Federal Republic of Nigeria. I love Nigeria. Well, my name is Orobi Quadri from Dubai. I love Nigeria. Keep it up. My name is Tolani Adewale. I love Nigeria. See me, you. God bless me, you. I love Nigeria. Doku Nigeria. Say the Nigeria. Nigeria. We are here today, sir, because a new Nigeria is about to be born, or it has been born already. We are here today because time has come. Ever since this, this new administration came into power, before they came into power, they've been thinking change. We also sang the word change along with them. But, I mean, we came to the conclusion that the president or the governors, ministers, senators, cannot achieve this alone. Well, um, by the grace of God, I'm the president uh, uh, and the initiator of this movement. And uh, we're here because a new Nigeria has been born. Uh, we're here because uh, today we have been able to identify uh, notable and uh, key personalities in the country that have paid their dues in different uh, spheres of, of uh, influence, captains of different industries. Uh, they are all here today and we are going to be having a discussion with the Minister for Youth and um, uh, Sport Development. Basically what we are doing here is um, to initiate, to ignite the whole process. In 2015, all the so-called big men that were occupying powerful positions None of their children voted in Nigeria. None of them was figured at any polling vote voting. Even in 2011, they had left because they anticipated trouble. It was me and you that went and voted for the jeeps they were driving. Well, I'm not even going to Dubai because I'm a minister, but I'm going to Dubai because there are those who believe in the new Nigeria. Lovely. Nigeria rebirth. Beautiful. So what's your name and what's your role here today? Okay, my name is Otto Paul. I'm a, I'm a visionary. I'm a dreamer, an idealist. And I was called upon to also give an idea um, of what I believe the future of Nigeria will look like. I believe that... Uh, Founding fathers had a great dream. Let me say there was a dream that was Nigeria when they when they started it. And every dream has to be reprocreated, has to be given to another, another give to the other, and that's how it goes on. So and for a long while now I've asked different questions. I've asked friends some questions. What do you think of America? I said, Oh, home of the brave, land of the free. When you tell them what do you think of Nigeria, they're like, oh, green white green. <laughs> So that means there's, there's, there's a kind of bridge between our founding fathers and what we have today. And when I heard about the rebirth, it's something that tells me that there's, a, there's going to be another. When there's a rebirth, there's another. That means we're going to dream afresh, we're going to dream again. And that's the role I'm going to play. What is the Nigeria of your dream? Um, the dream that I have for Nigeria is to see a nation that is strong, can stand on its own, and um, also can become a standard for other nations in the world. So, um, a woman's role in building Nigeria, the new Nigeria we have now, cannot be underestimated. We are Nigerian ladies. We love Nigeria. In music, sport, go together. But in art, this is a new one. This is a new niche. Reuniting peace through art is something very new and I'd like to say I think it's something very different. 
So I'm very happy to be a part of this team and thank you again, Honourable Minister. Um, I will start with you. Looking at you and the niche which you um, have built, we know we can feel the energy of um, what you stand for. We can feel the fire, we can feel the spirit, and that inspires us. And um, I want to commend um, Balami, who has brought us all here, and everybody here. I mean, the spirit is charged, and we're happy to be part of this move and this vision. We're Nigerians, we love Nigeria, and our country will get to the very top where it belongs. Thank you so much. Nigeria, Oh, I'm public relations consultant for a Nigeria Rebirth Project. Um, we've been on this for a while now, since last year. It's been fun because um, I just came into Nigeria not too long ago. So joining this kind of team, this kind of family, it's just, it's been awesome for me really. It's been wonderful. I'm actually doing it because I love Nigeria. Are you sure? Let me look at your eyes. Are you like... <laughs> Exactly. I mean, after 60 days in Unity Fountain, trust me, there's nothing I can do for my country. Oh. <laughs> so what's your role in this vision? My role in this vision is actually to be one of the wheels. You know, it's like a vehicle, it's a moving vehicle. So I don't mind to be, I mean, to be tagged as one of the wheels that will make it work. Yeah, basically we're trying to see how we can be able to rebrand the image of Nigeria. Because Nigeria, the whole world looks like Nigeria as a... Uh, a country where there's so much corruption, a country where there are so much psychophones, there's so much, where there's so much uh, fraud and everything. So we, the young people, now have taken it upon ourselves to see how we can be able to, work, first of all, put our in-house together. What a vibrant outing. I tell you, everybody who walked in here, even if they were, seemed a bit, you know, are out fully charged. I tell you, the youths here are really inspired to carry on with this vision. It's been a wonderful cutscene call at the Honorable Minister of Youth and Sports. I am more charged than I walked in here. My pipe is firmer in my hand and I'm happy to be part of this vision. Let's see how this journey goes. Program, you know that made in Nigerian products and services are trending right now. Hmm. And then later, how to cope with children who have special needs. This bit is crazy. It's getting hot trends. Yes, so, so Made in Nigeria is trending right now and it's here to stay. If you're not patronizing what is made in your country, then really you're missing out on a lot. Let's see what has been done to move people in that direction. Made in Nigeria. <laughs> Make sure you patronize Made in Nigeria because we are the best. Made in Nigeria. Patronize Made in Nigeria. Patronize Made in Nigeria. Patronize made in Nigeria. Kusei Kaikin, the Akaishi and Nigeria. Patronize made in Nigeria because they are great products. This is made in Nigeria. Patronize made in Nigerian goods. It's made in Nigeria. I said made in Nigeria. How do I look, guys? Made in Nigeria. Made in Nigeria. I think you should have this flag. Right? Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. And you are a piper, you know that. Thank you. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. So tell us about this initiative, Ambassador. Well, this project is made in Nigeria. You know, we came up with this idea maybe months ago. Um, I'm very fortunate and very humble to be the chairman of this move. This is to showcase and to bring back people's understanding that let's support our brothers buy made in Nigeria products. My name is Dr. Jafar Obella Dambazo. I am the Sadikinyak Imahu Tanzazao and also a Bubediche one of Ibagwa Niche at Ezoku Kingdom, Enugu State. So you can see I'm a complete Nigerian. I am advocating and soliciting your support to please patronize made in Nigerian good. 
Yes, the Made in Nigeria segment is coming strong on Trends and Rachel in subsequent episodes. Do you have a Made in Nigeria product or service? This is your platform. If you're not on here, then you're not trending. So you need to quickly get in touch with us through our mail or through this number. Okay, I'm so excited. It's been a wonderful outing, but we're promoting Made in Nigeria. I mean, look at this artwork. It has people from different ethnicities from our beloved country. Beautiful fashion, beautiful minds, ingenuity, and so much more. I tell you, Nigeria is endowed. To sponsor Trends and Rachel, call... Havana. Uh, you understand, DJ? Trends Exposé Let's start with a special autism event. What a lovely day to be out as a piper. I tell you, it feels good to be. Oh my, oh my goodness, what do we have here? I am not the only piper out here today. We have somebody blowing the positive music. Well, it may not be the positive music, but music, yeah? <laughs> we are the arts and culture in Abuja, Nigeria. The Cyprian Equency Center for Arts and Culture. And I'm definitely getting up there beside my piper to talk to you. Okay, let's see me climb. <laughs> Woo, okay. Make sure you're getting me in the Let's see how that goes. Let's see. Ooh, with both hands. <laughs> Lovely. I tell you, there's nothing like being the piper because whoever blows the pipe dictates the tune. And that is what we're doing here today, this afternoon in Abuja. We're here to defeat autism. Yeah? We ready? Let's go in there and see what is going on. This event is put together by Pat Silver Foundation. We're here to blow the music of positive change and development. I'm here as a mother of an autistic child. Yeah, so I'm passionate about it and um, to throw a little bit of my contribution, but as a guest. Lovely. How old is that child? Uh, he's eight, going on nine. And when did you notice? Um, when he was a year and a half. Oh, and what were the signs and symptoms? No eye contacts, um, tantrums, and no, um, a little aggressive. Um, I'm actually uh, uh, a parent of uh, a former, well, you don't actually say former autistic, but my child is one of the success stories of autism because he transitioned mm -hmm. from um, being in autistic uh, school to normal school. So tell us, you have this organization, Pat Silver Foundation, support and empowerment of vulnerable persons. In a nutshell, tell us about what you do. Um, we are a non-governmental organization and um, we basically support children with special needs. We draw up care packages for them, we support them in the community and we support them in schools. But um, thank God we're growing. By January we're hoping to set up our own center as well. So, uh, Well I'm uh, the chairman of, uh, uh, or the ambassador in actual fact of the autism organization here in Abuja. Um, and I have an elder child, an elder son who has autism, as a form of autism, even though it's not as great as some of the children we've heard about. Um, but it's, it's, it's been a challenge um, because for the first time, I think 
we are now being told what autism really is. As it, as it is being said, yeah. any gadget that you hand to him, okay. he knows how to manipulate it and um, get into it and he could do this for hours on end. He doesn't, he, he would be in a world of his own. So that means you can, mm. that's some, an area you can look at? Because now, for instance, you find that what we're trying to do is actually to get him to now use that to text, whatever okay. it is that he wants to do as a form of communication. Because now, for instance, he knows how to Google. Yeah. Even though oh, wow. he's fixated, stop that. <laughs> hey. he, he knows we are talking about him. Oh, he knows, uh, he knows yeah. we stop, it. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop yeah. it, stop it, stop it. See, so now, see. Yes. Let me exp okay, let me sorry. let me explain to you what he is doing. Yeah. Anwar, Anwar, just watch, J just watch. Anwar, Anwar, jump in, jump out, introduce yourself. Jump in, jump out, introduce yourself. Jump in, jump out. That's what he's trying to see. <laughs> jump in, and it's not coming on. That's what he's that's what he's looking for. Yeah. Stop it. Stop that. <laughs> come. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of attention. Come, 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 come. Watch it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Show it to me, show it to me, let me see. Let me see. Stop it. Yeah. Let me see. What is it? It's, it's very frustrated. special, yeah. I mean, if you know, there's so much you can do even like that because I mean like you said what he does with the phones, yeah, it's really commendable. So you can see we have a young, vibrant young man here. There's a lot of potential. There's a lot of potential. You can see he's a very intelligent boy and can see the zeal and the will. And I'm sure he will go places because you can feel his charisma and you can feel what he has to offer. And he has parents who are very attentive, who are looking at what areas he's interested in and doing what they can to push him further. That's what should happen. And that's how we defeat autism. To sponsor Trends and Rage, call... Havana. Uh, you understand, DJ? Yeah, yeah. Uh, back it up. What a package! What an episode! Oh, are you exhausted? Okay, darlings, I think we'll call it a day here. <laughs> Thanks so much, my darlings, for sharing these moments with me. Be considerate of children with special needs. Seek out and help the IDPs, the internally displayed persons, due to violence and all the many issues we have to deal with in society. I mean, be an ambassador of peace yourself and all the best you can. Anyways, I'm a proud citizen of Nigeria, a proud member of the world. I am your sister. I am your friend. I believe in you and I love you to shreds, my darlings. Till next time, I am Rachel Bakam, aka Rachel the Piper. Take care of yourselves, my darlings. <laughs>